Okay, hi guys. I'm here with my daughter, Shelby. She's in first grade. You wanna say hi? Hello! I'm so <laughs> happy to be here today. And we're gonna draw, hey, what are we gonna draw? We're Mom? gonna be drawing shrimp, the parrot. This is my parrot. This is our bird shrimp. And you can see him on the blog. So we're going to be doing a draw along um, together. So we're going to start in, up here with the beak. So if you find the middle, you just go up just a little bit and make a rainbow um, a little bit shorter than your finger. Okay, so make it about like that on your paper. Okay. Now, we're going to curve down to about here. Now you're not gonna make a straight line. You're gonna make a curved line down to about right there. Okay, ready Cur for me to do mm -hmm. it? Go ahead, make a curved line down. Good. Now, the next step is we're gonna go back up so it makes a little V, just a little tiny V, okay? Now, from here, you're going to make a big curve in like that. Okay, now just connect the V to that line with another curve. Good, okay. Now you're gonna start at the V and make a curved line up to the side there. That's the bottom of his beak. Good, now make two dots here for his nostrils so he can breathe. Good job. Okay, now Right next to the beak, we're gonna draw another rainbow for his for his cheek. Right, kind of like uh huh, right there, like a rainbow. Okay, now for his eye, we're gonna make a great big eye, and we're gonna start with a papa circle. Go ahead and draw the papa circle. Then on the side, we're gonna draw a mama circle. Mama circle. And we're gonna draw. A baby circle right here. An itty bitty baby circle. Well, and then a tiny shiny up in the corner. An itty 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 bitty tiny shiny in the, up in the corner. Okay. Now shade around the tiny shiny. Okay. And this is the part of the eye we'll color. This is called the iris. This dark part is the pupil, and the white part is the tiny shiny, so that will stay white. Can we draw the lines on it? Sure, if you wanna have, you mean, yeah. If you want some lines in the iris, you can draw some lines in the iris. That's the part we'll color later, okay? Now, I'm just gonna make it a little more round because my eye is a little curved. Okay, now over here, you can darken the side and add some eyelashes if you want it to be a girl. So you can make some curly eyelashes. Now shrimp is a boy, but if you wanna make a girl, you can. I'm making shrimp into a girl and I'm gonna change the name to Rosie. Okay. No, not Rosie. Now, you're gonna f follow this curve of the cheek down and make, come down and make a curve like that so it looks like a big letter C. So follow it down and make it like a big letter C. Letter C. And then we're gonna connect the side of the C with some feathers and that's his little fluffy cheek. Okay, good. Now, you're gonna start at the top of the beak here and make a curved line down almost to the bottom of the beak, but not quite, and very close to the beak. Right here? Uh-huh, make a curved line down. Make it curve down, stop about stop. right there, yeah. Okay, now, right next to that line, we're gonna make a smiley line that comes under the tip of the beak. Like this? Mm-hmm. Good. Now just make some little feathers right next to that that go straight over. Good. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna start on that line that we made up here, and we're gonna kinda come out, and then we're gonna go over the eye and all the way past the eye and down. So That's where? Get his head. 
So you're going to start about right there, uh huh, and go out a little, then around, up, around the eye. Good. Pass the eye and down. There you go. Good job. Now, we're going to make this cute bird some little wings now. So we're going to start with a tiny line right there on that smiley line. Draw a little tiny line right there. Where? At the bottom of this smiley, draw a little line right there. Okay. And make this come down so that they're equal lengths. So just bring this down a little like that. Okay. Now, we're going to make this shape and it's going to touch that line and come down. It's kind of like a tall rainbow that kind of comes in at the bottom. Good job. Okay, now you're gonna make a little zigzag at the bottom. Or the bottom of his feathers. Good job, Shelby. Now make another one over here, the same size. Go up, touch that line, come down, and make a zigzag. Okay, so okay. from here? Uh-huh, from there, go up, touch the line, come back down, and zigzag. Zig, zag, zig, and then a zag, and then a zig. Bring that down a little Good more. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now, wherever your zigzag makes a little pointy, like this, mm -hmm. you're going to touch the pointy part and draw a line up about halfway up. And those are his flight feathers. So they're a little bit longer. And now we're going to make loop, loop, loop. loop. Those are loop some smaller feathers yeah. above those feathers. Baby feathers. Baby feathers, yeah. <laughs> and then you can make some more little baby feathers above those if you want. It has little wings. Okay. You're gonna go all the way up, huh? Okay, <laughs> cute. Now we're going to draw a line. You ready? Mm -hmm. From this wing over to this wing. And that's his little body. There you go. Okay, now we're going to start on this wing here and we're going to make one all the way close to the bottom, two, three, four lines for okay. his tail feathers. One, One, two, two three, four. four. Good job, Shelby. And then you're going to connect them like this with a little loop, loop, loop. Good job. I like those little tail feathers. Okay, now for his feet, he's going to be grabbing on to a branch. So we're going to do three little loops here, one, two, three, and then leave a little space, and then one, two, three little loops there. My favorite part is the feet. I love them in the feet. They're so cute. They are cute. And it's like the easiest part of the bird. Okay, now over here, we're going to draw two lines for the branch connecting to that loop, the top of the that last loop in the bottom. Good job. Then draw a line right here. Where? From this toe to this toe, a line. And then from this toe to the tail feathers, and maybe another one here if you have room. And then on the other side of the tail feathers, right where this line is, you're gonna draw a line that goes all the way to the end, but I'm gonna make it go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna do another one here that goes down a little bit. And look, I'm going to separate this branch with a little sideways letter V. Okay, so okay. go this. So go, uh -huh. go up a little up. and, and down. down a little. And then a sideways letter V. Perfect. Now, if you want to add some smaller branches with a leaf, you can do that. I'm just going to add one a little leaf right here. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna draw some leaves going all the way around your paper 
And they can be different shapes, like this one at the top. I'm going to make it like this, just kind of a different shape. And then go all the way around because he's in the treetops. So he's surrounded by leaves. Wait, what's the Rock and Robin song in the treetop? I'll have to post it on the blog. Rock and Robin. Tweet, tweet. Shrimp likes to sing Rock and Robin. It's a song. He rocks in the treetop. Tree all the day long. Rocking <laughs> and rocking and singing a song. Rock and Robin. Oh, I forgot one thing. Tweety. That's good, Shelby. Rock and Robin. Okay, now you want to draw some little feathers right here on his chest. Just little smiley feathers on his chest. 